Hi everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty, and this is Winston, one of my Scotties, and welcome to our Floss Tube uh, number 131. Today is Monday, June the 19th, 2023, and I do apologize for my video being late, but I was at StitchCon Weekend B. So, Winston's here to uh, show everyone the ask at uh, Weekend B, uh, that I've got a, a black Scotty. So I just wanted, uh, you can tell he doesn't like the camera, but I just wanted to let you know that I do have a black Scotty and his name is Winston. Come on. And we have Mr. Camera Hog and this is Stryker. There we go. They're both six years old and he loves to be on the camera. He loves attention. Yeah, Stryker. Yeah. All right. Okay, everybody down. Okay, welcome to all my new subscribers, and thank you so, so much for uh, dropping by. The crunching is the crunching of the doll treats, <laughs> but thank you for dropping by to uh, let me share my experience at StitchCon. Um, I would like to welcome all the new subscribers. Um, I'm stitching Scotty on Instagram, 4505, and um, you don't necessarily have to put the numbers, but they will show up. But uh, we do have a giveaway coming up this coming weekend on my next floss tube. I would do it tonight, but it would be too long a video because I try not to do too long. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you is we're going to talk about StitchCon. And... Um, it started Thursday and went to Sunday. And when I first got there, we waited in line patiently, or should I say impatiently. And it was in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it's put on by Keepsakes, in case you don't know. It's a shop in Sharonville, Ohio, outside Cincinnati. We go in and we get this StitchCon bag. Isn't this nice? And it's very heavy. And we got a name tag. And we got a glasses cleaner. You just take this, put your glasses in here, and just rub it and clean your glasses. And it says Stitch Con, and you can put it on the keychain. We got a little red bag that had an Ohio coaster in it. That was very, very nice. All right. <clears throat> then, um, we also got a card that said, uh, it's telling about the uh, Book Bus Depot and the coffee place. And it gave us a 20% uh, off purchase at the Book Bus Depot. I never got there, but maybe next year. Okay. Then, um, we also had a little card in here. It was StitchCon Hold Room. And if you didn't want to wait in line when you were buying something or if you had called ahead and play, placed an order, um, you could get it held at the, you know, they'd pack it up and send it over from Keepsakes to the uh, convention center in Sharonville. And you could just go pick it up and pay for it. Or if you wanted to get online because you had to go eat or had something to do, you could do that. Then we also got the StitchCon 2023 Passport. And it lists um, all the uh, floss tubers that went to, uh, to StitchCon. And it lists all the happenings, some restaurants, a shopping list. Um, it had a nice letter from Barbara, the owner of Keepsakes. And it had the hours of the Annex, which is the little shopping center place in the convention center that uh, Keepsake set up with all the trunk shows. And it told us about the Stitchy Bus schedule. I'll have a picture of the Stitchy Bus in here later that we could ride to Keepsakes into the Coffee Bus Depot. And then they had some uh, an itinerary and important notes. So this was very handy. But best of all, in the back, they had a free pattern by Sue Hillis. And let me, oops, yeah, let me do this. Okay, there you go. 
is this stitch con is my happy place isn't that cute and they had it stitched on a bag and it looked really really cute one of those that shepherd's bush puts all their designs on so this is something to hang on to so anyway but on thursday we had um mm, sorry we had a gathering at seven o'clock that night where Barbara welcomed us. And then we had late night, we had stitching and then we had late night stitching. And it was at the uh, Hilton instead of the Drury. And then they opened up at eight o'clock in the morning and they sold raffle tickets and they had just cross stitch magazine was there and they had listening sections about what we wanted sessions about what we wanted to, um, uh, include. And then we had, um, uh, Smalls Exchange. So, for my Smalls Exchange, I'm going to insert a picture here of what I um, took.
And um, the receiver really, really enjoyed my smile. So I, I was really tickled. I was so worried, but um, I'm glad she did. And then I got a smile from the Smiles Exchange and this came from Jan and she lives in New York. And we were, a small is a six by six inch piece. And it's something that you hand stitch. And I got Erica Michael stitch all the things, a little small project bag. And she lined it with the blue polka dotted material. She got me some ball tip needles and some candy, chocolate candy, which I ate and shared, of course. But this is just really, really nice. And look at all the nice material on the back with the sewing machines and the threads and things. So this will be good to take a small project like a meal heel project in or maybe just some floss or something that I could put in a larger project bag. So thank you so much, Jan. I just love, love, love this. I really, really love it. Okay, then next, um, we also, um, when we sat at our tables, we, and I'm not going in order, I'm sorry. But anyway, when we sat at our tables, uh, we all took little gifts to give to uh, the other stitchers at our table, our stitchy friends that we spent the most time with. And what I took um, was, well, I won't tell what I took because um, I don't know where it is. Okay, one of the things I got was um, this little egg box. Isn't that cute? I got this from Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. And she had put some uh, lace and glued this on this egg carton. Oh, goodness gracious. And when you opened it up, um, there was some washi tape and there were some little gold chocolate footballs. Ate them. They were good. And there's some, um, you know, here's the washi tape, some little green scissors, um, tape, Thread and lots of different colored, oh wait, let's see. Let's do this. Different colored buttons. But it was very, very nice. And I thought, well, you know, that's really nice. Jennifer was really, really nice. But then she tells us to go and pick a project bag out of this uh, mm, tote bag she had. And I chose this one. Is this not so pretty? She pan or she pieced this and quilted it, and uh, it's very sturdy. And it's got my StitchCon New Star in it. And there's the lining. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I will always treasure this because I've made one project bag. And let's put it this way: I know how long it takes to make a project bag. So, mm, yeah. That's a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So then the next thing I know, uh, one of my other um, fellow stitchers at the table, Southern Yankee Stitcher, which is Olivia, she gave me these beautiful note cards. And it says, um, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And it says, welcome. So thank you, Olivia. I really appreciate those note cards. I can really use those. Then <clears throat> we had a biker and a curler at our table. That's what she does, some of her other hobbies. And she gave me a piece of chocolate and these beautiful Stitch Con, Carmen did, these beautiful Stitch Con floss drops. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, and I hadn't eaten her chocolate yet. You can one can only eat so much chocolate at a time, you know. Then the other, um, and she was from North Dakota. Jennifer was from Virginia, and the next one was Tracy from Fargo, North Dakota, and she has a floss tube, and she is. Oh, I hope I get this right. Pocket Pup Creations. So be sure and watch her. She's going to be coming back to Floss Tube, and she's done a few Floss Tubes, which are still there. But um, she has an Etsy shop. She's on Instagram. So be sure and check her out. And these are her floss drops. Cute, cute, cute. And she also gave me a bag of candy. So yum, yum, yum. And yes, a bag of candy. And there was Carol Widman's Candy Company also in Fargo, uh, North Dakota. Thank you, thank you. 
I'm not eating that yet either. Mm. Okay, then next, um, Del Nora, and she's from California, she gave me a beautiful little bee that she stitched and a crocheted flower. So I'm gonna put those on something for trim. Thank you, thank you, Del Nora. I just love it. But look at these, just so small. Okay, then, nope, where did it go? Okay, oh, here, it, no, that's not it either. Okay, they were right here. Hold just a moment. Okay, sorry, I laid my book on top of it. June from Colorado gave me these nice snips, so I can't wait to take those out and use those. Thank you so much, June, I appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Then the next thing I know, Dale comes up. That was all the goodness for my table. Dale comes up and she is from Charlotte, North Carolina. And she brought me a Lots of Scotties um, pattern book. This is an oldie but a goodie. And I was so tickled because I didn't have this. And then she also bought me this Radley Plans book with a little Scotty dog on it. Thank you so much, Dale. I really, really appreciate it. I was so tickled. And then right after that, somebody else came and brought me one of these patterns too. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I already have one. And I shouldn't probably have said that, but I didn't want to be greedy and have two of the same pattern. Um, so, yeah, right. Okay, all right. And then Jackie came and brought me a, um, it's a thread winder that her husband made and she stained. So you just wrap your thread around here and then you snip it and it's all the same uh, length and you can put it on your floss drops. And everybody says, oh, what's a floss drop? I have a whole bag of them. And um, I have, oops, oops, oops. I have the little kitty here. This is from Andy Stitcher with a 2023 charm. I've got the Black Friday sale um, and a snip. And it says, um, love to boogie, love to stitch. I got that. Okay. And I got one with a little cactus. And it's got pictures of... I would say the Grand Canyon out there. And this is Mel of Hope Stitches. Um, somebody was nice and made me this counting pen of 310, the little cat at Keepsakes. Um, Scissor Fob, I have no clue who that's from. Um, Jamie made me uh, or got me this uh, waxer and also the two counting pins. Another scissor fob. And then two needle spoon thread handed out needle minders. That's what TNTP stands for. Two needles, TNTP. No, TNPT, yeah, I'll get it in a minute. And I cannot remember who gave me this beautiful scissor holder but it was at a table in the back. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd written it down, but I can't find the paper I wrote it down. And then Kathy gave me this Bee Stitch Me silk, hand-dyed silk, mm -hmm. nice. All right, and then um, somebody gave me this little card to stick on the back of your piece. And you take the card out and you write all the materials that you used on there and the name of it and who did it. Then um, I got lollipops and some floss drops from Pink Posies Pin Cushion. I got another, the scissors are mine, but I got another, oops, floss drop. It's uh, Santa Claus. Okay. And I got. Yeah, um, Holly Hobby, and this is Holly's, uh, Holly's of Hobby, I think is who it is. It's Holly, it's her name, of course. 
Hobbies of Holly, yes. And Floss Drops, is that not too cute? I do love um, Holly Hobby. And I got a little card with Diesel on it. And this is from Brenda in Alabama. And all I got to say, Brenda, is War Eagle. <laughs> She's roll top. I had to do that. And then, uh, Stitching with Sandy. She gave me some floss drops. Um, Andrea gave me some floss drops. Aren't those beautiful flowers? I think they're upside down. I'll tilt my head down so you won't see glare. And then these were Jennifer's floss drops, the lady that gave me the egg carton and the project bag. So pretty. And then Southern Yankee Stitcher, these were her floss drops. And on the back, she had the state of Maryland and then South Carolina joined together. Isn't that cute? Just amazing. Um, then, I've got Nancy, the disorderly stitcher. Um, Jesse stitches. Lydia's leisurely stitching. And keepsakes, of course, they'd given me a sticker when I shopped there. And... This is from Tammy Totten, and she gave me a boo-boo stick, and I put it in one of my projects, and I can't remember which project I stuck it in. And a boo-boo stick is like a clean mascara wand that you just brush off like after you've had to rip out uh, stitches, and maybe some of the black or the red thread is stuck on there or brown, and you just uh, brush it across, and it takes all that off. And then Bozy Stitchers, uh, they gave, they had like a little prize giveaway thing. They gave everybody a tube of beads and you picked it out. And if you had the green star button, you got a prize. And it was a very nice prize too. And then I got some charms. Uh, and somebody, um, oh, Sandy gave me the uh, suspension bridge floss drops with some nice pins. So that was very nice. And then Sweet Wing Studio, and her name is uh, Susan. She gave me this butterfly and it's got seeds in it. And if I plant this, wildflowers will come up. And there's her floss drop. And I'll link her below. She has beautiful patterns. Okay. All right. Then, um, there was somebody in the back and they had all these Scrabble letters as needle minders on a tray and they gave you the letter the letter of your first name. So I got a D for Dottie. And then I got um, a skein of 666 floss, a 2023 and a twistable pen. These are great for marking your charts. Can't remember who I got this from either. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then um, I got this uh, StitchCon 2023 needle book from Patty in Florida. Is that not too cute? And then you just open it up and put your needles in there. And Tammy, I'm going to be using this just like everybody. I'm going to be using all your goods, your goodies. And then um, Sebastian from Bees and Teas Stitching gave me some Charleston tea. And this one's Rockville Raspberry Tea, and I love raspberry tea, and a bee needle minder for bees and teas. All right. Then, um, let's see. Okay. Then, um, this is talking about a needlework store. Faraway Designs went around and gave everybody one of her original designs in celebration of the gathering of fellow stitchers. And it's fadneedlework.com. Now on the back of the pattern, they left the E out of needlework, but I will link it below. And they have a retail store in Olive Branch, Mississippi. So I'll link that below and put their phone number And here is the pattern that they gave me. It was so nice of them to do that. And that's um, Stitching Blues. You'll have to watch her on Floss Tube. 
Then also, um, where did I put them? Okay, um, Wilson Des 3D Designs, um, she is selling floss tube or floss drops on her Etsy, and these are plastic. They're hard plastic, and see how thick they are. And they've got like a little hole for like after you've taken the six strands apart, and then the big hole for the six strands, and then a nice little place to lock it in place, two different places. So I will link her information below. She has a lot in her shop, and this is one of her original patterns. Now, when I stitched this, it's called Summer Margarita. I told her I was gonna have to change one of the words, or two of the words, to Spicy Self, okay? So I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna hold it up and let you read it in case the children are watching. But anyway, this is the pattern, and it's got the margarita and the limes on it. But I will change that to Spicy Self. But thank you so, so much, Pam. I really appreciate that. And be sure and check her website out. I'll be linking that below also. Then, uh, the next thing, I went to uh, one lady, and she came, and her, her uh, business is Wonderland Hand Dyed Fabrics. And she gave me a piece of 16 count mock turtle. It's a fat eighth. And this is what the fabric looks like. It's just beautiful. And this will be in next week's giveaway. Isn't that pretty? It's Ada and it's 16 count. And it's got lots of modeling in it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. And then she also gave us a book that's got patterns in it. Uh, the one I liked the most was Rip It. That's why we call it frogging. When you take stuff out, it, you frog it because it's ripping it out like a frog says, rip it, rip it. And uh, they have uh, Mom's Embroidery on here. Uh, it's a 20-page PDF for six patterns. But she gave us this. And she gave us um, from Bad Stitch Fiber Arts. Um, it's a little mushroom. Isn't that cute? And um, this was the funniest one. I just got a real kick out of this one. It says, math is a scam. Counting is hard. That's why I cross stitch. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, thank you very, very much. And then as if that wasn't enough, went back the next day and she was giving out other stuff. So she gave us this little bag. And inside the bag, there are, um, it's a cross, it's a um, invitation and a photo card. And you lay this in your photo and you can get an idea of colors and colorways. It says to take more accurate picture of your whips and fabric. And then she gave us her card, Wonderland, Wonderland Fabrics, and I will link all this below. She gave us floss, hand-dyed floss. It's called Dinah's Ball of String Hand-Dyed Floss, and it's mock turtle to match my fabric. And um, also a um, corner gauge, and this is from Crossroads Stitching. So, and all that was in the bag along with a counting pen. And this is a little butterfly and you just use this little pen to go one, two, three, four, five, you know, to count because counting is hard. <laughs> so thank you so much and I will link that below. Okay, all right. I think that's all. Oh, and I got food and, you know, all kinds of candy and stuff. I mean, it was just amazing. Then I did a project bag swap with Tracy OG Stitchery, I think is the name of it. And um, I made a project bag and she made a project bag and gave to me. And I got the better end of the deal, I'll tell you that much. It's got a little, uh, uh, what do you call these? It's got some swag on it is what I'm gonna call it with a little um, scissor fob-like thing. And this is a patriotic bag. And there's the back. 
it's it's so so soft and it's it's very um uh, it's very substantial is what i should say and it's lined and then she also put a thread bed in here and this is you know she even had little star buttons you just put your floss in here and it's really good if you're outside when the wind's blowing because it won't blow away as easy because it sticks to this so yay thank you thank you thank you tracy i really really appreciate it it was she did get the better end of the deal or i got the better end of the deal because she made me such a beautiful project oops then i was at stitch night and i took out my um ziploc bag because i i don't have a lot of project bags i do now but i don't have a lot of project bags before and i had about four maybe and I didn't bring some of them because they had like large projects in them. So um, I had a Ziploc bag. And she said, oh, we can't have you doing, Michelle goes, we can't have you putting your stuff in a Ziploc bag. She said, here, take this beautiful project bag. So look at this, these, and I'll go with my needle minder. Isn't that cute? And she has some cute ribbon on here. And she lined it. Isn't that pretty? And the fabric is so soft and it's a different size. So this is for like medium size projects and you can stick them straight up and down. And I like that too. So I put my welcome to the North Pole in it, but I took it out so it'd be easier to handle right now. Thank you so much, Michelle. You are so sweet. I really, really appreciate it. And you shouldn't have, but I really appreciate it. Okay. And then um, when I went to Keepsakes, they gave us this pen with a stylus on the end, uh, just for shopping with them along with a sticker. <clears throat> and then when I was there, um, well, I'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so then you're supposed to, well, you're not supposed to, well, let me start over. Okay, they have a thing called ringing the bell. If you have a finish or you finish a project, you get to go up front and ring the bell and sign the paper. And they have like a contest this time between weekend A and weekend B. Excuse me. <clears throat> and I had finish. And I planned I was gonna have the FFO finish, but I didn't, not there, but I did have a finish of Dottie's Scotty's from Cross Stitch Joe. And you know, I've been stitching this and stitching this because she designed this pattern just for me. And so I hurried up tonight and I finished it. It's FFO. And is that not just really, really pretty? And I put a button on the bottom and I got this counting pin at the t at uh, Keepsakes. I got three of them and I put this for the top just because I thought it needed a little oomph but it's got all different kinds. And the Biscor News are so easy to finish. They really are. This is on 36 count fiber on a whim. Can't remember the name of the fabric. And I used one strand of DMC floss over two threads. And I stuffed it with polyfill. And I used a milliner's needle to sew the button on. And then I just bent the counting pin and stuck it in there. And that's how I finished it. And I laced it up on the sides. It's really easy. Maybe one day I'll do a tutorial on this. I could see me doing a tutorial on this because I finished enough of these, so I feel good about it. But thank you so much, Joelle. I really, really appreciate it. And I was so excited to get to ring the bell. Okay, um, then they had a brag table, and I will have a video of the brag table, which I will insert here, but before I do that, I'm going to show you the two items I took, and I took small items, um, just because, yeah, I had a lot of stuff, um, and you put them on the table, and then everybody went by, and I took videos of all of those, and I also took videos of the smalls exchanges. Okay, the first one, this pattern is so old, I do not even know whose pattern it is. But this is on Antique White, and I showed it not too long ago on my video. is FFO, and it's a needle roll. And you can either use it as a scissor fob or a needle roll, but I'm just using it as a needle roll to, like, stick my pins and stuff in. Or maybe to go into a um, 
dough bowl or something. And I said, uh, I said last year when I got the stitch con pattern that I was going to have a finish and this is my stitch con finish. I made it into a pillow. I bought the little black board, but, um, I wasn't happy with how it looked. So I thought I'd do this and I put some red rick rack and I had this kind of fabric in the back. Uh, and I put my initials on there and I put 2022 because that was the stitch con I went to and see there's keepsakes. There's the stitchy bus. And then we've got needle thread, scissors, thimble, and there's 310 the cat. And it's all about friends, new and old, and, and sharing and having things in common. And this is on 40 count something. Yeah. I told when I uh, put it out, and I stuffed it all with polyfill, and I sewed the rick rack on by hand. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I was really tickled about that. So I will insert that video here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. A baseball shirt. She's the one that did that stitch. Oh, it's beautiful. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. That's cute. I like that. I know. And I think they got a project bag, too. Ooh, look at that. Wow. That's beautiful thing.
The next thing they did was they always have a service, Barbara and her staff always have a service project. And weekend A and weekend B always have like a competition kind of to see who gets the most. And when we started out, Stephanie was not from just keep stitching. She was not, she was like, well, y'all aren't going to win that way. So anyway, the StitchCon project, service project this year was St. Joseph's Home for Infants and Children. And they had a lady come and talk to us and she brought her son and uh, it, it, um, they, um, the founder was Sister Anthony O'Connell, and uh, it's been around for a long time, 150 years, I think. And they have, um, I would show you, well, I'll show you pictures because uh, it's a brochure, but there's residents here and it's got, a, it helps them when you need more care, someone needs more care than their family can give them, they step in and, um, you know, they help out with multiple, um, they have swimming on th on site therapy pools, summer camp, music concerts, family holiday events, art classes, uh, and they have support for the them to participate in the community. And they have uh, the school age residents attend uh, classes off campus and uh, they have an adult day program also. So it's it's really really nice. Uh, it's an intermediate care facility. So um, and it's nonprofit. So we raised, or I say we raised, but Barbara and Keepsakes and everybody at StitchCon raised thirty five thousand dollars. And Barbara, we had thirty thousand and some change. And Barbara uh, and Keepsakes put in the rest to make it even thirty five thousand. So that was just great. And we can be had more money. Yay, we can be. <laughs> All right, so um, now I will tell you what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert the Smalls video at the end, and I'm not yeah I'll insert the Smalls video at the end, and I'll also have some pictures, and if you don't want to see my haul, you can just skip over this part. But I bought a few things, um, and where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Okay, the first thing I bought. <coughs> was um, the little stitch box. These are really, really neat for like framing or you can like put your sewing stuff in here and put, you know, make your little bottom out of foam core or something and put your sewing stuff in here. So I thought, hmm, I'll just get one of those. So I got that. And then 310 the Cat has its own pattern. It's uh, a year of keepsakes, stitch away. And what I'm gonna do is I'll probably make this into a fall pattern. But I thought that was just so cute because I like black cats at all. Then, uh, Sweet Wing Studio, this was an exclusive pattern and it said Friendship Grows. I thought that was really, really cute. She has such beautiful designs. And then somebody, I had never tried any of their patterns before. This one's called Love Grows by Crinklewood Crossing. And it says, Love Grows When Stitching is Shared. Isn't that pretty? There we go. Okay. And then, <clears throat> uh, of course, StitchCon has to have a special pattern. And Sue Hillis designs it. And this one's called StitchCon Adventures Await. And it had a bicycle thing this year. So they had a bicycle sitting out there. And you'll see pictures of that in the Stitchy Bus. And I thought that was so cute. And she does have a Joy in the Journey series. And these are some of the pictures of those. So even if you didn't go to StitchCon, you can still stitch a bicycle. Okay. And then finally, a farm girl, Chrissy, she uh, donated, she uh, designed a graph for Matilda driving the Stitchy Bus. And all the proceeds went to St. Joseph's Children's Home. And of course, I had to buy one. Is that not too cute? Too, too cute. So I can't wait to do that one and stick that one in my uh, um, dough bowl. Whew, I tell you, my brain. Okay, and then when we went to the counter, she gave us Do What You Love by Cecilia Turner. Cecilia couldn't come this week because she was sick, but um, and we really missed her. But isn't that a beautiful pattern? So I'm going to be stitching that. 
And then uh, I needed some little keepsakes from um, StitchCon. So I got me this tomato scissor fob. They had them last year and I didn't get one. And I was like, mm, I wish I'd got that. And I think that's just so cute with the tomato. And I've got something on it. Okay, then I also got a sampling of Memory StitchCon scissor fob. And it's got the little scissors on it. And I got a StitchCon uh, needle minder. So, I'm all stitch conned up now. But anyway, I had the best, best time. And I just thank everyone that's watched my video. And be sure and stay tuned for all the exciting pictures of all my stitchy friends. And new and old. And, um, I don't mean in age. But, um, just lots and lots of good things. But right now, I want to, um... Well, no, I'm just going to wait until this weekend. I'll do a free pattern next weekend. And then I'll also have um, the giveaway <coughs> for, for reaching my milestone of subscribers. And I they had a freebie table, and I did get a few things at the freebie table. So thank you to all those that donated things at the freebie table. I got another Scotty pattern or two like I needed. So, all right. I will tell you bye, but you enjoy the videos and the pictures, and uh, I hope to see you next week for the giveaway, or this weekend for the giveaway. Uh, happy stitching, and be sure and stitch all the things. Bye-bye. <laughs>
again later. No, it's for my floss too. Yes, ma'am. You can never have enough salad. I make them, so I'm good.